International with Buddha Stretch. What's How up? you doing today? I'm good. Um, Hip Hop International, first time here. Uh, one of the judges, having a good time, learning a lot, and uh, look forward to teaching class tomorrow, educating some folks on what hip hop as a culture and the dance is, and just happy to be here. Okay. Tell us about some of your beginnings of where you started at, um, you know, how you got into dancing hip hop. Um, okay, so uh, when I was a kid growing up, there was a TV show called Soul Train. And when I was a youngster, I didn't watch much Soul Train, but, you know, my family did. And, you know, when you're a kid, you see everybody watching something, you run in, you watch. I'm seeing them dance. I do a little imitation dance, and then I break out. And as I got older, uh, you know, uh, my grandmother, God bless the dead, just passed away. I love her to death. She used to watch Carol Burnett and Shields and Yarnell. And, you know, of course, if she watched it, she controlled the TV, it's her house. We had to watch it. So I grew up watching Carol Burnett, Shields and Yarnell, and imitating, you know, Robert Shields and, and doing a robot. But not really into dance until uh, I got, you know, I went to a family function uh, called a block party where they, you know, block off the street and everybody comes out and cooks and you get to know your neighbors and you party. And so at this particular block party, I had a cousin from the South who came and, you know, they had, you know, they were playing music and these guys were popping. And I was like, oh, that's the dance from Soul Train. I recognized it like, oh, I saw it. That's what I saw in Soul Train. And so out of nowhere, my cousin jumps in the circle and he's popping. And he's got the float and it's a cigarette trick and it's a little wave. And I'm like, now I grew up with him. He's, you know, heavy set. He never danced. All of a sudden, he's popping. He's doing a dance I saw on TV. And I'm like, if he could do it, come on. <laughs> you know? So, so like, said people can dance. Exactly. So I'm like, I had to, you know, because at that time, I used to dance all the time. And my, like, everybody in my family could dance. But, you know, I was the one that was into it, you know, because I, you know, watching TV, I would always, you know, I could do the robot and other dances. But when I saw my cousin, it was like, damn, like, he's really good. I wouldn't learn that dance, and that's what got me into dancing. I started with popping and breaking. I was in a crew called the Grand Floor Wizards in Flatbush, Brooklyn, and um, that's how I got my start. You know, I started with that, and then from there, branched off into hip hop. Okay. Now, tell us. Um, obviously, you grew up in Brooklyn, and whatnot. New York City it was obviously, um, you know, the Bronx, right? It's where uh, you know, b-boying started. Um, were you able to connect with a lot of people back uh, back then? W when was this? Uh, what uh, day when and I started, I started in '82. Okay. And uh, you know, by the time I got into the, the culture, you know, everybody was into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the difference now, I think, as opposed to then, when you got into hip hop, you got into the culture. Yeah. Like I didn't just dance. Yeah. I, <laughs> I tag. You had to have your tag. I did grab. I learned how to DJ. I did a little MC. All the you you did hip hop. It wasn't you did one thing. You did a little bit of everything. You tried it because everybody was doing a little bit of everything. So, you know, and then at that time, you know, it was all brand new. I mean, they had just started calling it hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was you know it was just a different uh, a different way of being at the time to me now to see how many people are into the culture but don't really know the culture is amazing to me because when we came up it was like it wasn't this one thing like you didn't just you know we didn't just dance we did a little you, you did every aspect of the culture you know and, and it's it's amazing to me now to see how far it's come mm -hmm. so basically the culture was your life yeah i mean it became I originally, uh, I never planned to dance professionally. Mm -hmm. I never planned to be into hip hop in any way, shape, or form. It just became all encompassing. And originally, I, you know, I wanted to be a, a pilot. I planned on, you know, flying and eventually, you know, going from being a pilot to being an astronaut. That was my thing. You know, I was a star. I was a Trekkie. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, live long and prosper, you know, and I wanted to go where no man has gone before, you know, so, and then, you know, once 
I got into hip hop that kind of like was like space is not the final frontier. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> hip hop yeah. is the final frontier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, um, after obviously in the, the 80s and stuff, you had been starting getting into the culture and the, and the dance scene. Um, how, I guess, how did you progress into more of a commercial, more into being professional? Well, what happened was, you know, how we define the, the era is the original b-boy, we call it the Beat Street era, or, you know, because at that time it was all about breaking yeah. and popping, electric boogie, whatever, yeah. and then that era basically died because of the, the over-commercialization. Everything became about break dancing. And so when that died out, you know, we used to hang out and dance in the park and all of that. And then we noticed that when we would go to the clubs, less and less people were doing it. And the people were like, ah, that's played out. So then it was like, what do you do? So what we did was we just started dancing. We just took every dance that we knew and just started, you know, bugging out. You know, we would, there were specific dances, you know, also what changed was the music. You know, we were creating anything. We just were like, we need to dance. We just dance. You know, yeah. because it's like, at one point, if you went to the club and you start popping, people would look at you as crazy. So, but if I went in the club and I started dancing and then I mixed popping into what I did, then everybody's like, oh! So that's what we did. You know, and that's how hip hop came to be. You know, and um, that was circa 1985, 1986. And, uh, the reason why we called it hip hop, you know, because there's this discrepancy with, you know, the B boys feel left out when you say hip hop because B boy <laughs> is the original dance. And, but I like to show them that, first of all, B boying is the original dance of hip hop, the culture. Yeah. But it was B boying 